आई थिंक रिविजन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मैं उस चीज में बिलीव नहीं करता कि एक बार पढ़ लो अच्छे से पढ़ लो या दो बार कर लो हो जाएगा याद I believe in that you should keep on revising jitne baar bhi ho paaye so i study something and i keep on revising it like five six times before the final exam last agar ek week bhi bacha hai jitne material kuch bhi naya nahi karne ki zarurat hai sab kuch hatao kyunki jitna padha hai usme tumne mehnat kiya actually aur wo sab mein agar koi exam question aaya tumne miss kiya to bahut regret hota hai that is a blood jitna padha yeah so jitna padha hai in the last week you should keep on revising as many times as possible Very good evening, everyone. My name is Shubham Singh Khania, and as you all are aware that the RBI Gate B results are out, so today we have a very special guest. He is Mr. Raghav. He has recently qualified the RBI Gate B exam. Today we are going to discuss with him about his strategy. How did he actually prepare, and what were the steps that he has taken, which have helped him in in cracking this beautiful and prestigious exam of RBI Gate. So, welcome, Raghav, and heartiest congratulations on your clearing this particular exam. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, Raghav, can you quickly brief us about your educational qualification, your work experience, and how many attempts you took to crack this prestigious exam? Uh, actually, uh, I'm an engineer. I graduated in 2012. Mm-hmm. Uh, after that, I took some years gap to write the civil exam. Then, in 2019, I filled the form for Reserve Bank of India mm-hmm. Grade B exam. But unfortunately, just a month before the exam, I got dengue fever, so I wasn't okay. able to write it properly with my full capacity right so i wasn't able to clear the phase 1 exam i missed by 3 marks i think and then again in the second attempt in 2021 i wrote it wonderful wonderful raghav raghav a uh, very first question very cliche question i must say that what was the first thought and the feeling that you had after seeing your roll number in the final list uh actually i was just sitting in my room suddenly someone put out, put the pdf on the group mm-hmm. i checked my roll number and I think it was more of a relief than very happiness, mm-hmm. because after writing a few attempts and a few years have gone by, so you feel happy and content that finally you have done it. Yes, at and least it paid off. All the efforts that you have yeah. put actually paid off. Yeah, yeah, it has paid off. Yeah. Right, Raghav. Now, since this is for the very first time that the exam has become descriptive now, so how difficult was preparing for it, and how did you actually prepare for the descriptive part? specifically for economic and social issues and finance and banking uh actually uh, before the rbi grade b exam i was preparing for the sebi exam okay so uh i think this notification came in january for the rbi exam and i was still preparing for the sebi exam so i didn't prepare matlab kuch alag se nahi prepare kiya maine descriptive ke liye mera manna hai ki agar tumhare paas points hai if you have points to write any answer according to the syllabus mm-hmm. then you can write any answer uh anyway i i think i believe that i have a good typing speed mm-hmm. and my command on english is above average so mm-hmm. i trusted myself to write all those points whatever the questions demanded so i prepared okay. mainly the points and then according to that i answered the questions okay. and few questions were direct i think in the descriptive paper like uh, five important things in the budget so right. if you remember all those things you can anyway write a good answer on that right and like how did you actually go for the descriptive writing practice also did you practice also Uh, no, I prepared some questions. I I wrote them myself. Uh, I joined one test series or some questions. I checked through the and I did the coaching itself. I think. Okay. Yeah, I did that and nothing apart from that. Okay, good enough. Good. Enough. And and any specific elements for ESI and finance and management? Any tip that you want to share for the future aspirants? Uh, I think uh, the online coaching materials are. More than enough to cover everything, because if you go through the book, so a lot of time will take. Every place, different different things to collect. Do Google, do search, do YouTube videos. See, and I actually gave you coaching material, and I thought, and the videos, and I thought that was more than enough with the right. SEBI grade. Most of the syllabus overlapping with the SEBI exam, yes. so that was very helpful. All the videos, the whole process, I think, took seven eight months for me to complete because I don't have a background in finance or economics. Finance and background. So. Yeah, so Anu Jindal sir's videos helped a lot. Actually. Right. So, so can we sum up that if you are thorough with the basics, you have the basic understanding and you have keywords for writing the answer, that would be sufficient. Yeah, that would actually be sufficient because if you have the basics and you understand what the questions they're asking, you will have the point to write a good answer by yourself because you don't have much time to think over there in the exam. Because that exam, because I remember, I think I entered at around two o'clock and left the examination hall at six o'clock for the second sitting in phase two. 
तो वो टाइम कैसे जाता है कुछ भी नहीं पता चलता यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक्स ओनली देन यू विल बी एबल टू कंप्लीट द आंसर मेक सेंस मेक सेंस राघव दैट ब्रिंग्स मी टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ सिंस आई हैव ऑलरेडी गॉन थ्रू दिस प्रोसेस द एंटायर जर्नी सो हाउ डू यू थिंक इज हाउ मच टाइम इज सफिशिएंट फॉर एनी स्टूडेंट टू प्रिपेयर वेल फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम um i think you need time to prepare for the exam or वैसे भी i think majority of the students are from engineering background mm-hmm. so you need 6 or 7 months to complete the whole syllabus especially with the change in the pattern mm-hmm. you need time to practice your increase your typing speed and actually write what the question is asking a schemes or bahut kuch aata actually content is very much you have to study it. so it will take around i think 6 7 months okay good enough right of uh, since you were preparing for upsc also did that preparation yes, had any advantages for preparing for rbi uh, actually it did there was a lot of debate about the upsc ko help mil raha hai candidates ko help mil raha hai so i think that was true to an extent because uh, if you're not from an financial and economics background you will have the basic understanding of economics and finance and also you'll have if you have written the mains in upsc you'll have the habit of writing long answers and you'll know how to structure those answers right so so in that bit i think it helped but not in the whole sense kyunki ye aage exam pe demand bilkul alag hota hai upsc se yes in and because it's partly way. objective also to wo objective hota hai yes. exactly current affairs bhi bilkul alag hota hai upsc se to wo part to bilkul alag aapko iske liye prepare karna hi hoga okay good enough manish sir uh hello raga first of all uh, many congratulations to you on getting thank you sir Thank so you, Raghav, uh, so many viewers were asking this question to me, and I'm asking this question to you now. When you started with your preparation, which phase did you pick first? Phase one or phase two, or have you prepared it simultaneously? No, uh, as I said earlier, I was preparing for SEBI exam also. So because of the SEBI exam, I covered I think around fifty sixty percent of the RBI Grade B exam syllabus also of phase two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so as soon as the notification came out and when i was done with the sevi exam i only prepared for phase 1 and i started my phase 2 for specifically for rbi after the phase 2 examination okay but now as you have cleared the exam so what should be the tip for the upcoming aspirants do they have no, to no i think uh, yeah pick- they have to pick up phase 2 first because the uh, syllabus is quite lengthy and you have to prepare for the descriptive parts as well और आई थिंक जो लोग आरबीए लिखते हैं दे आल्सो राइट अदर बैंकिंग एग्जाम्स सो बाकी सबका प्रैक्टिस साथ-साथ भी चल सकता है लेकिन फेस 2 के लिए आपको प्रिपेयर अलग से डेडिकेटेड करना पड़ेगा पहले से राइट सो वी 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 कैन से दैट कि फेस 2 का जो प्रिपरेशन है वो उस गैप में नहीं हो सकता फेस 1 और फेस 2 नहीं नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं वो नहीं हो सकता नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द सोर्सेज दैट यू हैव फॉलोड फॉर फेस 1 एंड फेस 2 लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम फेस 1 सब्जेक्ट बाय सोर्सेज व्हिच सोर्सेज डिड यू फॉलो फॉर द एग्जाम and uh, start let's start it from the phase 1 um uh, uh, phase 1 sources uh, i i believe i have good english and uh, quant section uh, handling so mainly i prepared for logical reasoning and so i focused on the test series so i bought various test series and i practiced mainly through that so that i can also manage the time on how to do it because there is sectional timing in rbi तो मैं बस वही देख रहा था कि मैं टाइम मैनेज कर पाऊँ और जैसे क्वेश्चन आते हैं उसके अकॉर्डिंग मैं प्रिपेयर कर रहा था mm-hmm. तो मैंने कोई अलग से बुक नहीं लिया था जितने भी ऑनलाइन मटेरियल्स इन्वॉल्व है mm-hmm. बस मैंने वहीं से किया था एंड व्हाट अबाउट फेज टू फेज टू आई टू थॉट इन माइंड शुड आई बाय बुक्स एंड स्टडी थ्रू दैट और शुड आई बाय कोचिंग मटीरियल एंड स्टडी फ्रॉम दैट तो मैंने रियलाइज किया बुक्स लेने में बहुत हासिल है बुक्स लो चार पाँच बुक्स लो अलग अलग ढूंढो तो वो नहीं होता उतना टाइम नहीं था मेरे पास एक्चुअली और अनुज सर का मैंने सेबी का कोर्स भी किया था तो मैंने उनके मटेरियल से ही सब कुछ किया मैनेजमेंट पार्ट एज वेल सब कुछ उनसे ही किया इन फैक्ट करंट अफेयर्स आल्सो द स्पॉटलाइट एंड द आरबीआई 24/7 सीरीज हेल्प मी अ लॉट इन करंट अफेयर्स क्योंकि बस मैंने उनका 6 मंथ्स का प्रिपेयर कर लिया था आई थॉट दैट वाज इनफ फॉर मी और एक्स सो रागव सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर आल्सो कंफ्यूज्ड रिगार्डिंग व्हिच न्यूज़पेपर दे दे शुड रीड so what according to you yes. should be the tip for those students that which newspaper is important and how they should read the newspaper um i think there are two things in that one should be a business and economic dedicated newspaper which could be anything economic times ya pe business stand kuch bhi ho sakta hai but one should also be that jo aapko general information de so i would recommend indian express and uh, economic times or business standard 
newspaper. So any newspaper from Economic Times or Business Standard, right? Yeah. And yeah, and Indian Express if you have a compliment for that time, you have to do that. So you should do that. All right. Now, uh, the, way, the very important question the students are asking that uh, how uh, sh- we should manage the note making. Should we make the notes o- online or should we make the notes offline? Or is there any need to uh, need for the note making or should we study from the PDFs that are available in the market? What was your strategy of this? I think that depends on how much time you have. If you are starting preparation right now for the next RBI exam, then mm-hmm. note making will be very good. You can read from anywhere, you can read from the book or from the online sources. You can make your notes and complement it from these papers, from different sources. Se usko, aur wo, I think that is the best way to prepare. But if you don't have time, you're preparing for other exams or you're working somewhere, then I think you should definitely buy a coaching material mm-hmm. or get some PDFs. and study through that because that is also more than enough it gives you every information it is very concise mm-hmm. and you can study through that as well okay so basically you are saying that if you have time then you should make notes yeah. but if you have don't have yeah. time then go for the pdfs yeah right? and since i'm working i didn't have much time so i was yes. studying through the pdf itself okay right now uh, raghav the very important question so many students are confused in this thing that how they can keep so many things in their mind because there are a lot of facts there are a lot of yeah uh, information so what yeah. was your strategy of revising all these things how did you keep all these things in your mind and how did you recall those things in your mind what was basically the procedure of your revision uh, for me i think revision is very important um mai us cheez mein believe nahi karta ki ek bar pad lo acche se pad lo ya do bar kar lo ho jayega yaar i believe in that you should keep on revising jitne baar bhi ho paaye so i study something and i keep on revising it like 5 6 times before the final exam last agar ek week bhi bacha hai jitne material kuch bhi naya nahi karne ki zarurat hai sab kuch hatao kyunki jitna padha hai usme tumne mehnat kiya actually aur wo sab mein agar koi exam question aaya tumne miss kiya to bahut regret hota hai that is a blood jitna padha right. yeah so jitna padha hai in the last week you should keep on revising as many times as possible there is no limit in that i think revision is very important Yes, so basically revision jo hai bahut zyada important ho jata hai kisi bhi Bilkul. exam ke liye bina revision ke Haan. basically no one can do exam ha wo lagta hai ki tumhe yaad rahega kuch lekin that is not the case and of course you, you have to keep on revising you can't say that ek baar pad gaye ya do baar pad gaye mere ko cheeze yaad ho gayi hai wo kisi ke sath nahi hota hai yes, yeah right, right. now ragav uh, one very important thing that i would last uh, like to ask you that you are a working professional so how yes. did you manage your time for this for the preparation of this exam this is you know uh, so many students were asking yesterday also that how the uh, aspirants who are working they are managing yes. time and they are clearing the exam also so what yes. was your strategy behind this uh, i think if you are working professional you have to have the drive to that you want to clear the examination because without that it is very difficult because you will not be free before 6 7 8 in the evening aur uske baad padhna ke liye bahut mental strength chahiye hota hai ki uske baad bhi aapko padhna hai so you have to really want to clear the examination or uske baad you have to make time for 5 hours you have to keep everything aside for some time mm-hmm. i'm sure people will understand i'm sure everything can wait for some time once mm-hmm. you clear the exam trust me it is all worth it so yes it's all about the matter of priority aap kis cheez ko life mein yes. priority dena chahte hain ha sab kuch ko thode time ke liye aap hold kar rakh to kuch bhi nahi hoga sab wahi rahenge sab kuch wait kar sakte ho uske baad aap enjoy kar sakte ho time manage kiya ja sakta hai it's all about the priority if you want it yeah कितना so they told me to focus on all the current issues and if you have a and in what you have a background jaise mera jo engineering mein tha to unhone cryptos fintech ye sab pe acche se focus karke rakho newspaper current affairs se bilkul updated rehna unhone kaha actually ki ek aur newspaper add kar do apne yeah. schedule mein interview ke liye so i studied actually three newspaper during the interview time and the rbi website becomes very important and the main thing i think is the bio data the bio data should be thoroughly prepared if you have a gap you have to have a justification for it don't like to no need to do anything there uh, everyone around seniors told me that they expect that you have a gap 
और बहुत लोगों को लगता है ये गैप है गैप है गैप का क्या करें तो उन्होंने ये बोला कि वो एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं कि गैप होगा दैट इज नॉट अ सरप्राइज फॉर देम तो सब कुछ के बारे में ऑनेस्ट हो अब बायोडेटेक और अपने वर्क के बारे में जो अगर आप एम्प्लॉयड हो तो थॉरली प्रिपेयर रखो बिकॉज दे फोकस ऑन दैट एक्चुअली ऑल्सो डिड दैट फॉर माई इंटरव्यू आई थिंक फिफ्टी मिनट दे वेर इन्वॉल्व इन वॉट यूर डूइंग अबाउट तो बायोडेटा is important and current affairs is important i think justification dena har cheez ka bahut zaruri hai ki if you are coming from a engineering background then how do you make a connection with rbi yes. and all those aspects yes and i think there is no right or wrong answer they are just looking for what you answer actually and right. how you answer how you defend what you are doing i think that is important right and like how helpful were the mock test did you took any mock test also um so mock interview yeah i took uh, a few mock interviews i took with anut sir also there was an interview with him mm-hmm. and a few mock interviews here and there i took yeah okay. with other coaching institutes as well four five mock interviews i think i completed yes so the candidates must go definitely go through at least three four mock interviews to have a broad yes. idea broad idea yeah many people don't prefer that they they are comfortable in their own thing like i can give directly the interview over there but i think majority of them should focus on as in preparing for mock interview before the actual interview yeah so that actually you get a broad idea ki kahan kahan yes. shortcomings hai kuch agar cheeze by data mein miss ho rahi hai to i think wo bhi cover up ho jayengi ha aur kuch nahi to actually tum kaise bolte ho logo ke samne wo to aapko practice ho hi jayega of course of course so ha there nothing to lose in that so i think you should give me mock interviews before the final interview okay oh, wonderful thank you so much ragav i think it has been lovely talking to you and i'm sure that jo bhi students ke dimag mein queries hogi wo mostly aapne resolve kar di hogi so thank you so much and all the best for your journey at <laughs> rbi Thank you. Thank you sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much sir.